Hi everyone, Gem and Scrolls here. Uh, today my DP trick is about cleaning pet fur out of diamond painting and diamond painting crafts. It's not a hundred percent, but it prevents you from having to like go with tweezers and pick out all the little hairs. The majority of the hairs that you're gonna have to pick out after are the ones that are either really, really stuck on or the ones that might be underneath gems. But, um, so my little one was working on these. Here's a grandpa shark and she left them out. Oh, I see we missed a hair just up here. It's probably stuck under a gem and that's why that didn't come clean. But, um, she left them out and we have four cats so not a good thing to do because i haven't sealed them yet i like to seal the keychains um so i hadn't sealed them yet and so a lot of fur got stuck in between and as i was cleaning them i was like hmm this would actually make a really great video so before i cleaned pink fong i got my camera out and said hey let's uh let's make a video so here's pink fong and as you can see there's hair. I think one of the cats came in and laid on them because that's not uncommon for them. And so Pink Fong is a double-sided keychain and you can see all the hair like it's stuck on it. And I used to pick them out with with um, just tweezers um, or my fine uh, fine tweezers. So I would do that typically and then it got to the point where I was like there's got to be a better way and so I ordered um, what looks like slime right okay so I'm gonna place this on top here for it to settle on my keychain a little bit while I tell you what it is super clean it's a high-tech cleaning compound it is basically keyboard cleaner it looks like slime it feels cold. You'll mold this in your hand for a little bit and then like it shows you can clean your phone and your car and your keyboard and sensitive areas with this. It has vegetable gum, bacterium, quadrumium, fragrant glycerin, Water storage condition is to keep away from direct sunlight and keep in a dry place and keep away from children and don't eat it. So it smells really strong. Um, my little one loves using it to clean stuff up because she thinks it's great. Um, usually I don't use it as soon as I'm done a painting. I give the painting some time for the glue to stick to the diamonds a bit more but I've never had it pull off the diamonds. Unless the diamonds aren't for fully secure. I haven't actually rolled Pink Fong yet, so I hope that she put the diamonds on all secure. But, um, so I'll let it st like, I'll let it sit so it gets in between all the gems. And then, I know that there was a lot of fur near its, uh, near Pink Fong's face. So I'm just kind of pressing down to make sure it's got everything. And then kind of just like roll it off and usually it gets the majority of the stuff off and I've never had it leave a lot of goop or anything I mean it leaves it smelling sometimes like the goop like the slime it'll smell like the slime a little bit but it won't it won't hurt the gems it doesn't hurt the shine and one time when I got something stuck to my diamond painting I got um I got a piece of paper stuck and I didn't have any wipes on hand and I was feeling too lazy to go upstairs to get the diaper wipes from my toddler I um used this and it actually worked really well and it got all the stuff off and it didn't affect the glue at all um, I tested a corner of it first before I did that. So I'll do the same thing on this side and then we'll take a close-up view of what it of what it looks like. And like I said, I just kind of let it sit. You can kind of see some of the hairs stuck in there already. It says you can use this stuff until 
until it starts changing color. Now you can order this on Amazon and I happen to get a two pack for I think it was $14.99. Um, so I got yellow and blue. I think it was $14.99 and I'm pretty sure that was like all taxes and it was prime delivery and I got it in like a week. Um, and uh, I've loved it. I've been using it for... I, I have some that is used for my keyboard, but um, I've been using it for diamond painting. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look close up. And like I said, it's not perfect, so I can see a hair here that it didn't get. And that's okay. Like, like I said, it's not going to be perfect. Um, but you can see that a lot of the hairs are gone and I'm only going to have to like pull off a couple of hairs. And that might be because she got a hair stuck underneath a diamond. Like as I'm going along, if I see a hair stuck to my glue, I pull it off. But she's not, all, she's only nine and she's not always that observe absorb observant oh my gosh and um and so she might have gotten the hair stuck under the gem and it might might be why I need to pull that one off but all the other hairs that were attached like you you saw how many there were there and it's not bad looking now there's a couple on the edge here that I didn't really Let's see if I can just maybe clean up the edge a bit. And then this side. I saw a couple, but there's definitely not as many on Pink Fong as there was. So I won't be stuck taking off as much pet fur on my diamond art when I'm using this stuff. I just, I really like it a lot. And I will use it on my diamond art, like canvases as well. Um, if I'm finished with them and I'm ready to get them ready for framing and they've been sitting for a while just to get any dust that might be gathered on them and uh, any dirt or grime and it's also good for taking off the extra pink wax if you're using pink wax i'm using the museum gel now so that's not an issue anymore but it was really good for that but um just to show you like that i'm not afraid of using it on the canvases so i just have a small section available right now this is one that i'm currently working on but um it's been sitting for a couple days because i worked on an Another one for the last couple of days, so this one's been sitting. Um, and I'll just like push it in, and it like I haven't even rolled any of these diamonds. Oh, one of them is loose though, so typically that doesn't happen when I have rolled it, like if I've taken my roller. To make sure they're all secure usually i'll have rolled everything down and given it a couple a couple days to set and well more than a couple days usually they're sitting for a while but um we haven't rolled any of these so um some of my diamonds might not be as secure um but yeah and then like I said, I used it on the on the glue to get something off one time, the paper that I dropped. And like after using it on the glue, I found that there was still a lot of stick. So you didn't have to worry about their So you don't have to worry about the glue not sticking. Just give it a moment and the stick is like really good. Um, but yeah, so 
that's my little diamond trick for today for everyone. Um, just anyone who has animals and is struggling with pet hair and uh, pet hair and any other dirt or debris that might be in your diamonds, like, I definitely recommend the uh, slime stuff. Um, and for how much you get and um, like how much you get in a package, I think it's a good deal. So anyway, um, I'll try to stick some links below. There'll be Canadian links for Amazon.ca, um, not Amazon.com. Um, but if you put keyboard cleaner, I'm sure this will pop up because that's how I looked for mine. Uh, thanks guys for hanging with me today. And if you want more diamond painting tricks or videos, um, unboxings and pros and con videos, just like and subscribe and it'll send you those notifications every time I post something. Talk to you guys later. You have a great day.